Yo guys, what's up? It's War Spirit. Welcome to another Stage 1 Overwatch video. Today we're going to be looking at Rotog. Rotog is a big, bad tank character in Overwatch. He is comparable to Pudge, let's say that, and the Butcher, who are other video game characters, simply because he has a hook. And what he does is he walks around the map relatively slowly and hooks enemies with pretty decent range, pulls them towards him, and hopefully can kill that guy. There's lots of nice little examples of the hook in this gameplay. Some weird hooks in here, but lots of hooks anyway, so pretty decent Roadhog gameplay for you guys. I've not played a whole lot of Roadhog, but when I do play him, I enjoy playing him. He has a very unique playstyle. I like his sort of skill shots, the skill that is required behind landing those hooks and pulling off those kills. He does have one of the biggest burst damage outputs on tank class, so that's nice having a tank that actually deals a pretty decent damage output. Also, he doesn't need to rely on his medics to heal, which is probably one of his most awesome benefits. He doesn't have a shield like other tanks in the game, like Winston and Reinhardt, which is probably the worst thing that a tank can have is no shield. Zarya also has a shield. And it's really hard, obviously, for a tank without shields because snipers are their worst enemy. Like, Sniper, Widowmaker against Roadhog just absolutely destroys him. So what he does is he's got his own little gas mask here, which can heal him. He can self-heal using this E ability, which is called Take a Breather. So he restores a chunk of his health very quickly. Just, he's stationary while he's doing it. So this gives him a big boost of health back. If he does take that snipe, he can duck under cover, regen health, and sort of cancel out that snipe that he just took which is really nice to have. But apart from that, I think he's a bit of a... He's, he's not as much of a team player as the other tanks in the game. He is very good at pulling enemies out of position, so what he's good at is disruption. Disrupting the, the enemy team from whatever their plans are. If he can just get one of them away from the team and shut him down, then that's really, really strong for your own team. So he's a team player in that regard. And his ultimate, okay, I've used his ultimate a few times in this gameplay already. His ultimate is a, is a strange one. It's very situational, it's very awesome in some cases and in other cases it just seems really weak. A lot of times when I use it I, like, I use it and I'm like, well, this ultimate's not very great and it's, it's not the most fun ultimate to use in the game I don't think. And I never really accomplish a whole lot with Roadhog's ultimate. What it is is just area denial, that's all it is really, is knocking enemies back off of a control point. If you can set it up in a good spot where there's like the edge of the map and you can use it to knock people back then then it's awesome because that's really a great play with Roadhog is to get this ultimate hitting on enemies that are all just flying backwards off a cliff because it does have pretty decent knockback on this where he just constantly winds his scrap gun round and round and just cranks out shrapnel at his enemies there knocking them all back it deals a little bit of damage not sufficient damage enough damage to get kills so it's really good against other tanks because of the spread on it, it's just crazy, but it knocks back everyone just because it's such a, a widespread, so it will knock back everyone that you look at with it. It's sort of different ultimate, not my favourite ultimate in the game, but I can't see it getting changed in any way. It does what it's designed to do, so it's good enough, I guess, for the game to have it still in there. Some little tips for Roadhog. First off, his chain hook cannot penetrate enemy shields, so don't try and hook a Winston through his shield, or don't try and hook a Reinhardt as well who has his shield up. I should be calling them barriers. They did get changed from shields to barriers now, because Blizzard doesn't want to confuse them with the blue health bar, which is called a shield, and then the character shields are now called barriers, so Winston's barriers are his particle barriers, and Reinhardt's barrier shield as well, that he holds up in front of himself. So they're barriers and you can't hook through barriers. You can hook through shields. <laughs> Health shields. And thus you guys are now confused. But I'm pretty sure every team that is making callouts in the game still says, oh, take down Reinhardt's shield. No one calls out, take down Reinhardt's barrier. I guess we'll stick with whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. But if you do get the chance, hooking a Winston with Roadhog is great because you can hook a Winston and deal a massive amount of splash damage because every single one of your little pieces of scrap that come out of your scrap gun will hit that Winston and that is massive burst damage to the enemy tank which is sick. One thing you have to look out for, as tempting as it may be, is hooking an enemy Roadhog because when you hook him, you're also giving him the advantage of every single bit of his scrap gun being able to hit you at the end of your hook animation. I mean, if it works out for you, then great. Maybe you hook him when he's a bit lower health than you and then you win that little one-on-one -on -one engagement. But sometimes, if it doesn't go your way, the enemy Rotog can then hook you back 
and kill you that way. If you're at the receiving end of being hooked first by an enemy Roadhog and then you have that opportunity to hook him back and finish him off, then that's great. So watch out for those little things if you do end up in the one-on-one -on -one Roadhog fights. Other things you have to watch out for are just basically things that can do massive damage to your health when you've got no safety nets at all. Your only safety net is getting the kill or finding some cover that you can hide behind to use your regen health. So tracers are really annoying for Roadhog to deal with because they will just blink around you, your scrap gun is doing no damage at all to enemy's tracers because the spread is just way too big, tracers way too small, nothing's hitting her and she's just constantly harassing you down and there's no escaping that, nothing you can do to escape that except regroup with your team. So don't go too far away from your team, don't stray too far from your team with Roadhog. And then you've got other things on the enemy team which are really strong against big characters like Roadhog, like Junkrat, so splash damage from Junkrat's grenades. Grenades are incredibly easy to hit on Roadhog. Poor Roadhog, Junkrat's his, his friend and his companion for causing chaos in the world of Overwatch. He gets directly countered by his good friend Junkrat. So watch out for Junkrat's and his team. They will really mess you up. And as I said earlier in this commentary, snipers. Pretty much Widowmaker's the only sniper you have to worry about because there's nothing you can do to block it. It's like, oh, there's a sniper up there? Well, let me just walk slowly back around the corner that I just walked around. It's not going to happen. You are going to get sniped if you mess it up. I don't know. Hang around with Winstons or Reinhardts if you have them on your team. They're awesome to play around. Alright, gameplay's wrapping up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this Stage 1 Roadhog video. And leave some comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.